Hi friends, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the detailed review of the HP Pavilion 15 gaming laptop. This is a DK series, which is being launched here in India. This is the 2020 year and uh, mid 2020. This is the model that they have launched as a gaming entry level series. Let's uh, have a look at this particular laptop. After watching this video, you'll be able to basically upgrade the RAM, install a NVMe SSD if it does not have one, install a new battery if your battery has gone bad change the CMOS cell, Wi-Fi chip, literally getting access to the entire base. And also, before buying this particular laptop, this is the video that you need to look at. So let's do it. All right, so the top panel is jet black, absolutely uh, matte finish and uh, looks very sturdy, very nicely cut all the places uh, if you see on the top till end, very nicely cut design the uh, laptop, it's got these nice edges on the top as well as on the end, the HP logo sits fine, pavilion is mentioned over here, once you open you will see two sided nano bezel, up top and bottom is not nano, uh, all that nano to be precise, I have tried to make it as narrow as possible, the web camera has to fit in so you need to have this kind of a Diesel and the speakers are uh, really nicely placed on the top and uh, very good audio. We will test that too. The keyboard quality is fantastic. Good size of the keys and uh, good reflex when you press them. The keyboard touchpad also is pretty precisely designed and uh, very nice looking. And uh, it's got this rectangular touchpad. Most of the other laptops, other companies have squarish ones. So HP maintains the rectangular touchpad. All these laptops come with a ninth generation H processor, Core i5 or Core i7 variant, and they come with with 1650 NVIDIA GTX graphic card. You might take a Core i5 or a Core i7 variant, both will look the same. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever. The power button also is external, so it's a good thing to have. On the left, you have the HDMI port, USB 3.0 port, Ethernet, you have a C-Type port 3.1, and you have a memory card reader. Very sharp edges all across. In the front, there are no IOs whatsoever. On the right, you have charging pin connector, indicator, two more USB 3.0 ports, and a headphone mic combi jack, and a hard drive activity indicator. The rear uh, looks simply fabulous, looks like uh, the rear of a Ferrari to be precise, nicely designed or any sports uh, car to be precise. The vents have been designed very nicely, good amount of ventilation is there. The base is also very clutter free, good amount of vents given, good amount of uh, ventilation is there on this particular laptop. Good amount of uh, rudders have been placed, uh, give a good amount of elevation from the base. We will dig deep into the base of the laptop. start things up, uh, you need to flip the laptop and then you need to remove all the visible screws. All these four screws are of the same height. Keep them on one side and keep the base three screws on one side. I need to take a prior and uh, start retuning on the edges. Just need to keep prying very easily the entire base will give away and the base is off. These are the inners of the HP Pavilion 15 Gaming DK263TX that we are reviewing. Even if you have a Core i7, the inners will look the same, just that the processor will change. This is where the NVMe SSD is, the battery, the hard drive, the Wi-Fi chip, the RAM, dual fan, nicely designed the heatsink, although it could have been separated by a little space, so that's fine. Good that it is not overlapping like in the earlier designs. So let's start with the battery first. The battery is connected by this uh, connector here. You need to just remove this connector very carefully and uh, the battery will be off. So this is the battery that you need to buy if uh, in a scenario you want to replace it. It's the PG03XL battery, 52.5 watt hours. This is the power rating on this battery. Let's keep it on one side. Come to the part where the hard drive is. You just need to remove this one connector here. 
Okay, just remove it gently and uh, one, two screws that you need to remove and the hard drive will be all yours. This is a 2.5 SATA hard drive that uh, all the laptops come with. Uh, you can take a 2.5 uh, SATA HDD or a SSD. You need to remove these one, two, three and four more screws. Once you remove the screws, uh, this metal frame will come off and you can take a similar hard drive and uh, fit it back in. You need to remove this notch here this particular connector you need to use your two thumb fingers and uh, remove it this connector take another hard drive and then fit it back onto this put the connector back but coming to the ram here uh, use your two thumb fingers and uh, remove the ram existing ram if you want to upgrade there are two memory slots here you can upgrade 16 plus 16 32 gb in total this basically uses a 3000 megahertz ram ddr4 low voltage the rating here is 3200 aa which means approximately 3200 megahertz so 3000 megahertz ram would be good for this even a 2666 will work fine but just that uh, lower frequency might not match with the existing ram so both of them if you can have 2666 also it works fine so ddr4 low voltage 16 plus 16 32 gb we'll insert it back now coming to the part where the nvme ssd is this particular model does not have NVMe SSD on board it just has a metal sink and a dummy SSD cap just need to remove it and take a NVMe SSD this is a the best and still blue SN 550 NVMe 250GB SSD that we have taken just need to take the SSD and fit it like this and put the sink on it and the SSD is installed the good thing that key dissipation uh, sink that has been given this is the processor fan this is the Wi-Fi chip is just need to remove this one screw and take a similar Wi-Fi chip and you can uh, replace it. So the CMOS cell is not there visible. In all probability, if you remove the battery and uh, put a new battery, automatically it's going to take it as a CMOS cell only. The CMOS cell has to be on this side and it is not there for this particular laptop. So you just need to remove the battery and put it back and it will reset the CMOS. So that is the way you have to reset your CMOS. This is the keyboard connector uh, and this is the backlit of the keyboard. Just need to remove this notch and uh, if your keyboard is not working, you can just remove it and use it without a keyboard. In another video, we'll show you how to replace the keyboard of this particular laptop as well as the display frame and the hinges of this particular model. So let us put everything back. Just need to press it. Not at all complicated, very simply and elegantly designed by HP. This video is shot from the web camera of the HP Pavilion 15 DK series of gaming laptops. Uh, there is ample lighting here, so you can see the face to be pretty clear and I think around it also be clear. But uh, very bad camera in terms of uh, low light. If you want to maybe do a Skype call without a uh, amount of lighting, it's not going to be a good web camera. Audio is absolutely fantastic. It's got Google Array mic. so. That makes sense. Webcam could have been better for a laptop. This is worth around 70,000 rupees here in India. For a Core i5 variant, it could have been better. The audio quality is fantastic, uh, as was expected. Bang and Alfusen have done a very good job. Front facing uh, speaker array, so uh, makes real sense. And the sound is very immersive. The HP Gaming uh, DK series has amazing speaker. Uh, Bang & Alfuzan have done a very good job and uh, very immersive sound uh, front facing and uh, it, it's really nice in the given category of gaming laptops. One of the best. So a big thumbs up on the speakers for the HP laptop. Alright, so we have basically shown you the inners of the HP Pavilion 15 Gaming DK series of laptops. It might be a Core i5 or a Core i7. The procedure is going to remain the same. After looking at this video, you'll be able to replace the hard drive, battery, install a NVMe SSD, hard drive, RAM, as well as uh, the Wi-Fi chip. Basically getting to the access of the entire base. Also, we've shown you the cooling fan and the inners. Very nicely designed uh, gaming laptop. Uh, Although we were not very happy with the fluffiness of the screen, the screen uh, is a little wobbly, uh, centered hinges, so that is one thing that uh, I think uh, HP should work on the next laptop uh, that they come out with. All in all, uh, a good uh, buy, uh, 
uh, at this point of time here mid 2020 here in india the core i5 variant starts at around 65 66000 rupees without ssd and the core i7 variant goes up to 90 95000 rupees thanks a lot for watching guys uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe us thank you